Hey guys, this is William with another video for PlayAgricola.com's YouTube channel and Twitch.tv slash Play underscore Agricola. Uh, I have a bit of an interesting choice here on oh, playing a G4-5 game with Midilol, Busim, Moskov, and Ostrich Uh This is a pretty interesting pick. I think Circus Manager is pretty sure, pretty, or Circus Manager is probably the best card, but this pack is pretty weak. So, I mean, pretty sure I'll get better stuff in the next pack, but yeah, Circus Manager wanting to play out lots of occupations and seeing all these weak occupations is not great. For Eris as a first pick for the surprise factor is sometimes worthwhile, but Circus Manager getting you food so you can spam early game occupations. Is there anything better than that? Uh... Picks here, pretty sure the pick here is Tudor. I think Bricklayer is interesting. Scrounger, Officer, Stable Deliveryman. Like I'm, there's pretty much five good cards here that I wouldn't mind taking. So I'm gonna get something pretty good on the rebound. Yeah, I think the pick though is pretty much Tudor. Um, okay, since I don't care about start player, I think Aramite is very playable in this game. Yeah, because I don't actually need to start player to get to the occupation space. Pretty sure I can just take Aramite here. Guarding Enthusiast is fine, but I think Aramite's quite nice. Wow. <laughs> okay, these occupations are actually pretty bad. This is maybe not a great tutor game. But I think I'm probably committed. Uh, okay, I think I can take top. Well, so Wood Hut Builder is awful with Tile Maker. Uh, there's also the Officer, and if I don't think Officer is coming back, Tile Maker here is kind of nice. Mendicant is fine, although I should have plenty of early game food. I think Tile Maker is probably the best pick by quite a bit. So I'll be a little sad if like Officer is the best card in that pack that comes back, but I don't know, we'll see. So I uh, hope everyone is doing well today. Uh, I played a um, game on Discord yesterday with Kimball and Domba, and it was quite fun. Um, I'm still figuring out exactly how to do the mechanics of that. Like I probably ultimately want Domba and Kimball a little lower, like the back, so that, that I can talk over them a bit easier. Uh, I tried to avoid talking over them as much as I could, but I also, their their audio on my headphones was super low, because I think, uh, I actually think my computer, um, I think the motherboard that I bought, it's got some, it's got some issues. So the first issue is that it's got a Wi-Fi card on it and a Bluetooth card on it, but they're both terrible. And I think part of it's because it's like bad design probably cheap parts but the other thing is I think the connections with the audio are not very good so that when I use the speaker like the headphone port on the front it's like quite bad um, well Eris seems pretty good here this seems like a pretty good Eris game with tile maker Aramite tile maker can get me a bunch of clay yeah so like I my deal round one is circus manager into mm, Aramite or Tudor, I'd have to think about that. Circus manager into Tudor or Aramite, then maybe round three, same thing, then like round five, Eris, that kind of thing.
Getting more points from Tutor is nice, but also getting more food is nice. But Circus Manager already gives me food, so I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But uh, now I'm really looking for late game occupations or mid game occupations. Because I have a lot of early stuff now. Funny, I was thinking about first picking Eris, and that was the card that came back. So these guys are not interested in Eris games. So what does that tell me? I don't really remember what else was in that pile. Is there a vegetable vendor? Officer? No, which this that was this pile that had officers. Yeah, officers gone. There's vegetable vendor. Yeah, wow. I didn't expect these three cards. These are like three of my favorite. Like that was an officer. Like quite good cards. Um, yeah, stable delivery man's kind of early. I think it's a good card, but I think it's a, it comes a little early. Probably bricklayer is a pretty good option. It's a little difficult with tile maker and everything, but I mean, if I can play an occupation every two rounds, it should work. So like circus manager, tutor, or circus manager, Aramite, tutor, Eris, bricklayer, tile maker, yeah. Um. Well, this is a late game card, Estate Manager. Uh, Animal Tamer is sort of playable. Uh, I don't really have any support for Estate Manager, but Animal Tamer will let me do a big house and hold breed animals a bit easier. Not that it's a great card, but I don't know. I guess I can play it in round 11 and take, or round 10 and then take stuff. Seems like a I don't know, I'm not sure about that pick. This one, um, well, not Honest Basket, not Working Gloves, not Guest. I like Rum Distillery quite a bit, but I don't have any um, green combo. Uh, Brickyard, no. Shepherd's Croc, no. So I'm looking at, all of these are actually pretty late cards. Quarry, two points, so you don't mind playing it late. Boundary Stones can be a couple points, same thing. Planter box, usually I'm probably not going to sow till the end of the game. Uh, I think I'd probably just take quarry. Quarry might let me build the stone room. Although probably it's going to be better for me to brick layer, build a fifth clay room rather than going to stone. Um, passing miners are okay with Aramite. Um... Stirrup tap is fine. These are honestly all pretty weak. Spare fence post is okay. I think par force hunting is like the best card by quite a bit. Yeah, par force hunting of course interrupts Aramite. But it might be worth playing anyways. If I'm gonna family growth a bunch, then passing on minor a lot is a lot a lot of lost value. So Yeah, I would have liked to see like a round 13 or round 14 occupation, but didn't really get any of those. There weren't any like great late game point cards in the draft. So this seems fine. 
I'd like to see read exchange. Read exchange would be great. Heat wave is playable. Uh, grain elevator is quite good. Grain, ele grain elevator is great. Horse is a late game two point card. Don't think I want storage shed. Major is pretty good. So if I'm gonna do a five room house, manger could be three points very likely. If I fence cover eight pastures and then two little spaces for fields or no fields, fence nine and do six rooms. Um, I don't really have a reason to go to six rooms. Uh, will heat wave come back? I hope it does. So we'll take manger here. Green elevator is the better car. Uh, do I pass green elevator to whoever I pass the... Uh, yeah, I think I do. Menagerie is pretty good. So clay supports is an amazing combo with bricklayer. Almost makes me want to throw my whole game out right now. Because I can build one wood, one reed rooms. One wood, one reed clay rooms with bricklayer and clay supports. Um, yeah, and you know what, Eris does have hard prop hard times with the read, and I haven't seen any read combos yet. I'm pretty surprised these guys are passing around clay supports, considering they know bricklayers out there. The other thing I'd consider is pole barns because it's passing. Menagerie is fine. Well, I don't have to play clay supports. We can see how the early game read grabs go. Like, I'm going to have a game where I like taking two read very... That's going to be a very high priority action for me. Like, my first action is pretty much always going to be read or wood. And then my second action will be wood or an occupation. That's pretty much how this early game is going to shape up. So I think I take Guest here. It's passing. Um, still get some value out of my Miner. Out of my Aramite. I can still play it and do something with it. And then this pick... Um, I'm not planning on using too much wood for rooms, so I I think it's okay to pass bare fence posts. I don't think I need it all that much. Um, yeah, I don't have a source of crops. I'm gonna go for animals before I go for crops, so not manure. Ox skull maybe if my feeding situation gets really rough. Then if I have a cooking hearth I can eat all the cattle and still get some points from ox skull. Yeah, the other thing is, I don't know if I need to play Eris. I could just play... Well, I could play Eris to build... Eris can... Can build brick layer plus clay support rooms. Because it's, you pay at your base cost, but it discounts you from that. Now, the thing is, Eris normally is a four clay, two read room. with brick, Which brick layer makes a two clay, two read room. Wow. Green elevator came all the way back. Yeah, green elevator is good, but I'm going to go all in on the Aramite play, I think, and take investments. Investments, if I can get to 5 reed, 5 clay, 5 wood, seems worthwhile. We start in third, so likely get expensive occupation, which is a totally fine spot to start. Patron for Midi Law. Circus Manager. 
And then I would play Aramite over Tutor here. Since my Aramite is coming in round one, it, get, it will give me a very long time to pay off. Or it'll have a long time to pay off. And I'll be in like no rush to get my clay supports out. Yeah, I think I like the Eris. The Eris play is maybe a little more reliable if I remember that if Reno comes round seven, there is a player who's played Officer, which means the Reno space will be kind of contested, in which case skipping on the wood room might set me back a lot. So, I don't know. It could be okay. And second action, being able to play two occupations in round one is awesome. So we'll play Aramite. Get a food. So Casino Manager lets you play an occupation for one food when you go on traveling players with your last action. Aramite gives you passive income if you have no minor improvements in front of you. Also interesting to note, Myron Scott went for a two clay over two wood. Important thing to keep in mind. May want that uh, first fireplace or else might have taken an officer strategy, in which case clay is more valuable for wood than for him early in the game. Oh, uh, the two actions I wanted most are gone, but three wood is fine. Would have liked to read. But Midi Lal with Patron, two wood, two read, looking like a strong, strong position to build the first room from. Oh, Morning Trader. Nice card. Very powerful. So, uh, Occupation should actually be very easy for Midi Lal. Because I don't want to play on Occupation, and Ostrich Engine is going to morning trade, so Midi Lull will have lots of opportunities to play Occupations with his patron. Especially if Mars Gob maybe has, um, might have taken the alms basket. Might be going for a late Occupation strategy, or a little few Occupation strategy. So I talked about how Marskuk might have a late occupation strategy, and then he, of course, plays Head of the Revolution. Midi Lal plays Ladder. If I didn't have um, Aramite, uh, you know what? Ladder might have been good enough with Eris that I might have taken it and ignored Aramite. Hard to say. So I get a food from the Aramite. And then I play Tutor. Should be a four point Tutor. Maybe only three, should be four. Uh, so this is a Reedstone food action for me, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I like four wood, but three wood, one of the three wood actions should come back. 
considering I think ostrich edge will take a grain. So reedstone food looks good. Yep, there's woodcutter there. So I just need to get that second reed. So reedstone food one more time. Oh, I need a bunch more reed. I need like five reed. Ideally, I'd like to get to five reed before I play investments. That would be nice, but... That's pretty greedy. It's unlikely I'll be able to get to five before I have to build my wood room. Like, and it's unlikely I'll want to play investments in round six if I've not already built a wood room. So, or in round five. And I was absolutely correct. There's three wood. Both the three wood actions came back actually. Get a F from Aramite. And look at how open occupation is. Expensive occupation is not usually available with the last two moves of round three. Smith. Okay. Interesting. So I assume he's got some reason to play this beyond, you know, just a bit of a source of food. I assume he's got something. Maybe. Maybe he's got some clay, clay engine, like clay mixer or whatever. So I get a reed action here no matter what. I get two reed or reed stone food, so that's good. If I had a choice between the two, I actually have to go with two read, I think. For all the reasons that I've talked about already. I get two read over read stone food, okay. So ostrich change maybe read stone food over morning trader. Hard to say. Morning trading is nice. Scrounger, a good card to keep in mind. I just want to make sure I have one wood, clay, reed, and stone in my uh, supply at the end of the game. It actually can make uh, renovating quite awkward because like a lot of times you get to round 14 and it's like, well, I could renovate, but it's only actually a two-point action because I used my last clay or I used my last reed or whatever it is. Usually it's you use your last reed. So Midi Lol should build here. Yeah, I was gonna say if Midi Lol doesn't build, I will, but he does. Um, I think my food is safe, but three food traveling players might get taken. Uh, I don't think it's all that likely. I'll take clay. Feed four plus F wood era. That's pretty much all the clay I need between that and uh, tile maker. What? This is crazy. Haven't seen this card played in a long time. Uh, the issue with Forester is that you don't actually get a payoff until two harvests later. Like, you don't actually increase your wood count. It's just a lot of actions for a pretty slow payoff. But uh, Ostrich Enge with Morning Trader, two grain, two fields. Looks, uh, looks like a thing. So I expect Maruskot to start player here to get the six wood in the next round. Yeah. Start player stone tongs and then ostrich and so sows.
see what it is. It is Reno. Uh, that made some players pretty happy, I think. Be interested to see if Midi Lost Star players here. What do I want? If he takes four wood, I'll take Reedstone food. If four wood's available, I should consider it. Because four wood is actually a five wood action if I play investments soon. Which I was thinking about doing. I can play investments later though. It doesn't have to come out here. Four wood, Reedstone food, and then traveling players. Those are, that's my plan at least. That's the correct decision for Midi Law. Reedstone food. And then, uh, well, we actually might see, we actually might see Midi Law build a room again. Our, our Maruska might build a room. Either of them could build a room. But uh, they all saw Eris, so maybe they'll take traveling players to block my Eris coming out. But I mean, if they take traveling players, they'll just go on occupation and play player. Not a problem. Ostrich Engine Morning Trading again. I guess this board is pretty weak, but I don't know. How are you going to ever get actions doing that? Mariska Renos. So, yeah, it looks to me like Mariska probably has maybe Lighthouse. I don't know, it's hard to say. With Head of the Revolution, certainly wants to fill up his farm quickly. I don't know. With clay supports, and if I can get some good wood actions, I can definitely think about stealing the Head of the Revolution bonus. Whoops. So I gain two food, I have to pay one. So round seven, I want to play Bricklayer, and then round nine, I could play Tilemaker, because I want to, I don't want to leave my Reno until round nine. Ideally, I would like to Reno in round eight at the latest. Ostrich Engine with Reformer. Okay, so it gets to grab the sheep unexpectedly from Maruska. Puts, puts him in a bit of a hard spot for feeding. Although, not really. He just grabbed six wood at the start of next round, so not, not that hard. Or six, not six wood, six clay, sorry. What's going on here? Just wait on Marissa. Midi Law saying, of course. You're building rooms in. 
Round six was family growth. He could have gotten potentially two rooms in a row, although that would have been pretty difficult. Or two, uh, two gross. No, actually, never mind. I always beat him to the second family growth. Or the first one. He can't afford the first action star player. What am I saying? He's talking nonsense. Wow, Shepherd Boy. So there's the first Stonehouse payoff card. I get six clay, which is pretty awesome, although two reed is a thing. And you know what? What do I need six clay for? I can get clay from other sources. I cannot get reed from other sources. That's all the reed I need now to reno and, uh, and build a room again. So then my second action, three wood probably. And then I need to seriously consider playing clay supports. So I should maybe start player guest round seven and seriously think about uh, Reno clay, family growth clay supports round eight. Giving up on my Aramite bonus, but wouldn't be the biggest deal. Not if I have enough resources to build like three rooms at once. We'll see uh, what happens here. Just gonna play Menagerie. And Medieval all played Snack Time. Snack Time just gives you some passive food in the harvest, but at the cost of not being able to do stuff. And Menagerie is a pretty nice card. Especially because you can eat all the animals you're about to collect and then collect them. So Ostrich Engine has Rum Distillery. Well, this is why he didn't have. This is why um, I I was really surprised. Rum Distillery came all the way around, or not Rum Distillery. I was really surprised. Grain Silo came all the way around, but uh, I guess uh, Ostrich Engine had already decided with Morning Trader didn't need to buff up the grain space. That uh, taking one grain at a time was more than enough. Um, okay, so for Muska to beat me to Family Growth, he's got to start player. And then also get a stone and then play Lighthouse. So yeah, I don't see a way that that's happening. Ostrich End. So I don't need to first action start start player here. The only time I need to first action start player is if I want to grow ahead of Midi Lol. And Midi Lol needs to get food. Quite badly, actually. Um... How is he not going to starve? Like, if he doesn't get fishing, he starves, but... Oh, well. I think I just... Start player guest here is fine. I do want to make sure that I grow ahead. I don't know if I needed to start player here. The thing is, if nobody else does, or if anybody else does, um, Midi Lol gets to grow in round eight. So, start player to get family growth seems like it's a good idea. <laughs> Usually is. Oh, I should show Kindling that Midi Lol just played. Guest is really simple. Two food for an action the round after you play it, and it's a passing minor. I've also kind of locked Ostrich Inge out of um, Reed, which has worked out quite nicely. Don't necessarily have to be competing with them so much. So yeah, we knew this was coming. Was it worth it? I mean, Shepherd Boy is two food per round, which is nice. And off, but the thing is, I don't know. You have to pay for officer. Midi Lol did, did get his fishing back, important to note. Wasn't always guaranteed wasn't always a slam dunk that it was gonna come back. 
Um, I would like to take a good wood action here, but I think I gotta keep working on my... Occupation count. Then V4 plus F wood. And point on my tutor. So yeah, I don't even need to place clay supports for my clay room to be quite cheap. My clay room is already already on, only going to cost me two clay and um, two clay and one reed, or two clay and two reed. The only time I would want to play my clay supports is if I want to save the reed. That would be the most important thing. I think the clay is probably not too consequential with tile maker. Although I wouldn't mind Reno pottery. Reno pottery seems like a good move. So yeah. So I have a guest here. Um, I could risk, no, there's no way Ostrich Engine can grow before me. He's got no reed on his farm. It is possible that Mars got, got like Lighthouse or something, but pretty sure I'm safe taking this six wood. And if I'm not, if I grow one round later, yeah, I, I think I'm okay passing uh, growth to midi lol. Yeah, six wood is a great move. So yeah, I'll keep taking six wood as long as I can. Midi Law is also like super hungry, so yeah, not too worried about it. So it looks like with that stone grab that Marska, well maybe just going for the well, because the well buffs up the tinsmith. Like, Midi Law is going to be so hungry. He's going to have to put a lot of work into not starving. Um, like, pretty much his... The, like, he's going to have to do a bunch of two food actions. So I'm really not worried about him jumping ahead of me here. So let's Reno Pottery. Get that out of the way. So Reno costs me two clay... And one reed. And then pottery costs me one and two. So save to clay. How much clay does Tile Maker get me right now? One, three, six. So f in order to get an extra clay, I would have to play Tile Maker in this round. Hmm. It's probably fine. Probably fine to do it. I could also think about Animal Tamer. Oh, he does have it. Oh, that's a shame. Does have the lighthouse. I'm not too worried about it, honestly. It's uh, it's too bad, but it's not game breaking for me. I got an excellent six wood action. I definitely so like now what I'm thinking is build three rooms at once, three wood, three clay, three rooms at once, and then fence and then fence twelve and get the head of the revolution bonus, get a max major bonus. I can hold lots of animals in my house, like. Yeah, I'm definitely looking at doing something like that at this point. Could take two reed. Reed kind of taking two reed kind of denies ostrich eng. Um, you know what? Now nah, I'll just play. You know what? I'm gonna play animal tamer here. And I will grab a pair of uh, plus F. And I'll grab uh, the pair of sheep if they're not taken first a first action next round. 
This is a really hungry game. And if Maruska is going to first action grow, then he's not going to be able to take two sheep. And Medieval will have to take sheep with his two two sheep with his first action. That's fine. I'm going to get another F wood, Aramite, unless I start player... Well, I guess I could start player clay supports. Yeah, that's probably a good move. Maruska does build the well. Yeah. Yeah, it was always a gamble, because Mar Maruska had to first or second pick Lighthouse, which, you know, maybe Officer Shepherd Boy is enough of a reason to do that play in a round five renovation game. Uh, especially if you've got Head of the Revolution and you're thinking about getting all of the points from it. So so pretty sure two sheep is going to be taken. So I should be going for four wood with my first action. I believe that's the correct decision. Ostrich Eng is still two moves away from growing ahead of me. Um, pretty sure he doesn't have Country Doctor. He would have had to first pick it and he first picked Morning Trader. So yeah. Midi Law going for Clay Oven. Okay. I will take a pair of sheep then and let them start renovating. And that's four wood that should have been available to my opponents. It's not going to be there anymore. Or four food, sorry, not four wood. How did he get to eat food? I missed that. What was Midi Law's last move? Reedstone food? Gardening enthusiast. Oh, patron. Patron gained him a bit of food as well. I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, two sheep seem like a fine action. Although less so now. Yeah, okay, let's take the wood. Taking the wood makes it easier for me to get the head of the revolution bonus. I'll uh, start player clay supports. Actually, well, no, I want... I, d I can grow without building the clay room. I cannot build... The building the clay room only matters for growing two rounds in a row. But if I think round 11, I'm going to want to build three rooms anyways, which might be the case if I'm going for the head of the revolution bonus, then I don't have to start player clay... Clay, room, uh, clay supports here. I could just let the room fizzle. Um, but you know what? There is ladder here. So yeah, let's get action priority over midi ball. And two food and a clay to feed. So here's my clay supports with bricklayer. It's an awesome combo. Ostrich Eng, 15 wood defense here. Let's take a look at how he fences. Probably takes two sheep. Oh no, already has four sheep. No room for more sheep.
okay, making room for three more fields or two fields in a room. Probably is the best way to break that down. So the other thing that might happen is if these guys are all going for the head of the revolution bonus really hard, they might fill their farms up prematurely, in which case the plow actions might be like relatively easy for me to get to, in which case, you know, that's an option as well. Um, So I'll plan on uh, taking traveling players around 11 and playing tile maker. That will get me two clay and two food. So that should be enough to get me through the next couple, the next harvest. Although it gets me six and I'm gonna need seven if I grow two rounds in a row. So that's actually not enough. I would have to do another food action. What should my first move be? Probably take animals, unless Midilol builds a room. Midilol might build a room. We'll have to see what happens here. takes a grain so it does not build a room so I can guarantee I grow two rounds in a row if I build a room with this move so I can build a room for one wood one reed and then I can build a room build two rooms here that guarantees I grow two rounds in a row I would still need more food, but I think this probably makes sense. Build two rooms. And I will not build any stables. Uh, does this room make sense? Yeah, I think it's so cheap it makes sense. My second action can be uh, family growth par force hunting, putting a boar on round 14. I guess I could play investments for one wood, but I think probably playing my other stuff is fine. Another plow here for monster change. We'll, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see how this wood situation is. I guess if I investments, then I can fence 12. That's an option. Family growth investments. Although, day labor quarry to get my food next round seems reasonable. Although I do need one more reed, so like a reed stone food action is not awful. Get a wood. Yeah, par four's hunting would be nice to play it, but not the biggest deal. So yeah, definitely playing tile maker on traveling players next round. That gets me four food. I would need one more food on top of that so I can grab two food day labor 
if I play quarry or read stone food. Both of those are fine moves. Actually, with four read on the board, I should be thinking about building the basket maker's workshop, definitely, especially with quarry in hand. So yeah, that would be, so then playing quarry into, um, into day labor would definitely be a, a good sequence, assuming I get the four read action, which is not guaranteed. So Ostrich Eng is still two moves away from getting the Head of the Revolution bonus. Would have to plow to or, or build stables or some combination of those things. Uh, Maruska could fence his entire farm. But I'm pretty sure that would give away the game for him because he would just not have enough point high enough point ceiling if he did that. Like he could fence and cover like that. Yeah, he could do that. Or well, I was, I was thinking he could fence four, four, three, three for fence fourteen. That would get him the head of the revolution bonus. But then of course you lose so many points on fields and pastures that it's usually not worth it to do that. Ostrich Engine, Midi Law, the two players that got the animal grabs. Ostrich Engine taking Plow denies Midi Law his apiary this round. Unless he plays, like, I don't know, Acreage or something. So I can't afford to take the read next round. Oh, I guess I can. I do have a free move. But if I want to get the head of the revolution bonus, my actions are pretty tight here. I have three moves only. Syrup tap for midi lol. This is a pretty late syrup tap. Usually you see it in stage one. I could build more rooms. I actually have a game where I could fill up my farm with rooms. And if I take quarry three times, that gets me nine stone, which is enough to reno a nine room stone house. Um, yeah, it's a lot of read is the problem. Do I take the head of the revolution bonus here? Like, my feeding is not great. That's the problem. Do I have a high enough point ceiling without that? Um, yeah, let's say that I do. Fence 12, viva la revolution. Yeah, with, with Tudor as well. Tutor, head of the revolution, six room stone house, five family members. I'll have quite a high score. Then my second action will be family growth minor, play quarry, and then my third action, day labor, take three stone. And then if I can get six read in round 12, I will definitely build the basket makers workshop. Yeah, if I got some reason, like if I got like mansion or even half timbered house or chief or something, I definitely could have gone for like a nine or 12 stone room game. Um, the only limiting factor would of course be the amount of read.
subfamily growth, minor improvement, quarry. So then I have out oh, the read is gone. Midilal took it. That's fine. Oh, you know what? Scrounger. I need to read Stone Food twice. Forgot about Scrounger. Always forget about Scrounger. So, Pottery already makes me want to leave Clay behind. Uh, I have Manger, so three wood for Manger plus... Or two wood for Manger plus one for Scrounger. So three wood action is good. Clay, I'm going to want Clay anyways. So that's a re it'll be a Reedstone Food action for three points, basically, is the breakdown. Which is fine. That's a fine move. I also can build the stone oven very easily since I saved the clay and the stone comes from the quarry very easily. So I should definitely be thinking about doing that. Oh, whoops. I forgot, I need the traveling players here. And that's not even enough food. Actually, oh, that's not enough food. Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh, I'm so dumb. I beg here. Oh, no. Oh jeez! Oh, I can, I was I forgot I couldn't afford the fencing move this round. So I'm begging either way. There's no way around it. Well, there goes my tutor bonus. My greed got the best of me. It wasn't greed, it was just didn't count properly. by me. so disappointed in myself. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, I'm going to want to build a cooking hearth now, I think. I think that's going to be how I feed the rest of the way. So two, two cattle, two boar are good actions. Four, four uh, and three clay are good actions. That beggar just counters the three points from Head of the Revolution. Jeez. Jeez. I screwed that up very badly. Very, very badly. Oh, man. 
man. <laughs> oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. I just totally forgot that I had that I had the two moves set. The third move had to got, get me one food. Uh, totally forgot about that. You know what? If I could have delayed Aramite a bit longer, it actually would have been pretty relevant. Especially with how food tight this game is and that I'm growing my family very big. So we'll grab two sheep here. Needs to be taken at some point either way. I would like to delay family growth thing until I can play manger as well. So maybe I take wood this round and then family growth next round and then my other two moves could be like take clay and reno cooking hearth. Although I would like to day labor, because I need to day labor to get my stone. So day labor, day labor, take wood and delay the clay until next round, because I might, maybe I want to reno cooking hearth next round. I can hold the animals, so. There's got to start player planter box. Planter box is a nice card. <laughs> oh man what uh, what play what sick plays by me so yeah probably don't fence anymore because fencing more is only one point and it would be to take another full wood action I can hold two breeding pairs in my house with animal tamer so not that it's likely I get three breeding pairs on my farm at this point in the game. Just a little too slow. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone for the Head of the Revolution bonus last round. That cost me. I could have I easily got it here. Oh, man. So day labor here. Uh, I could still family growth with my last move. Family growth manger. It gets me the action back, which if the action is only used for a two food move, then that's, that's, that's neutral. That's action neutral. And it's probably going to be better than that, I would think. Should be better than two food. Because then I could maybe take grain and bake grain with stone oven or something like that. This is where I'm really regretting not taking Grain Elevator. Grain Elevator would have been quite nice over stupid investments. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, the Head of the Revolution bonus totally cancelled out. Oh. This is a rough one. A rough one. Not going to be two cattle available. So my first move will probably be like six clay. That'll actually probably be the best move for me. So I want to read stone food twice more. I want to day labor. Once or twice more. Twice more gets me the stone oven, so probably worthwhile. The 
do have five moves here, which is nice, but yeah, some of the moves are going to be not very high quality. This should be Plauso for Midi Lol. Pretty sure I'd take six clay here. Let's me build a cooking hearth. Marska might decide to upgrade his fireplace to a cooking hearth. But if he does, it's I mean it only costs me a couple food at most. Getting a fireplace is okay. Is this Reno joinery? I guess it probably is, eh? So Reno in round 14 should be safe. Because Ostrich Engine won't have enough stone to Reno again. And definitely doesn't want to with uh, Scrounger out there. Yeah, I think it comes down to taking six wood in round uh, round eight. That was a game losing move because I gambled. Maruska does not have joinery, and then Maruska had joy or er, not joinery. I gambled. Maruska does not have lighthouse, and then Maruska had lighthouse. So. I thought probably considering he had five stone in his supply, he might be looking to build a stone room normally, but uh, that obviously was not the case. And that's going to happen. Four food, save a... Four clay, save a clay on this cooking hearth with bricklayer. would really like to breed my sheep if possible. In order to do that, I have to get two food with each of my remaining moves, which is not seeming like it'll happen. Although I could take boar, reedstone food, and then reno. Is that enough? Boar, reedstone food, reno? That's four more food. And then I would have eight. No, that's not enough. Not Reno, what am I talking about? Boar, reeds, no food, day labor. That would be enough. Yeah, same with vegetable. So I can take boar or vegetable. Start player horse, I assume. Since planter box is now enabled. Yep. Ruska ended up with quite a nice game. Does Maruska sow here? I guess you just take one more crop and it's equivalent to a sow, or maybe better than a sow. No, it's equivalent. No, it's better. Well, you sow behind your house, beside your house once more. No, you don't. You don't sow beside your house anymore. Yeah, just take one more crop. Take your grade, and then back so on grain. Nice game by Maruska. Yeah, officer, lighthouse, shepherd boy worked nicely in around five family growth or around five Reno game. I guess the other thing is, I could not run out of stone, and then I get two points from Tile Maker, and I already am, have the Scrounger bonus on my farm. Uh, I could could then play Stone Oven for three points. 
So renovating is a four point action, but it requires me to do other actions. I think probably it'll be worth it. Really? Vegetable and boar taken. Well, that blows. Um, uh, so day labor for sure. And then last move. Uh, well, I have to eat my sheep either way. So just go all in on eating my sheep, I guess. And then take something else, probably. Um, grain, and that's four food when I build stone oven. Sure. Yeah, I was a little unlucky that I didn't get like wood strong box or something, something that really rewarded a six room house or even like um, like a tavern keeper or can you imagine if I had Animal Tamer's Apprentice with this game? Like Animal Tamer's Apprentice, I would have blown the game out. But yeah, I didn't quite have the payoff for a big house that I needed or pelts even something like pelts would have been quite good. Oh, the food cost would have been hard. Pretty sure I first action cattle, just because then I can play ox skull and eat the cattle. I think Midi Law wants for an offense, so should be getting Reno improvement. What's taking so long here, guys? Game's taking a long. Yeah, most cause time's gone up a bit. It's not awful, but. It's gone up quite a bit. Uh, it is a nicely crafted game, so can't complain too much. So cattle, food is five, clay is seven, so vegetable or boar feeds ten. Although if I'm going to reno, I will probably want to, well, Grain is two points, so I don't need to eat the grain. I could read stone food and then day labor. Read stone food, day labor, reno ox skull. So then I have one free move to take two points. Just want to take two points. Five clays, two points. Yeah, I'll take the contested actions first. Oh, he did reno imp improvement. Oh, that's a shame. That means I get reno fence, which is not good for me. So I don't get to play ox skull. Um, 
Yeah, I guess I need to read stone food anyways to get the scrounger bonus. So, yeah, renovation is four points versus stone oven was three points. So it is worth one more. But the thing is, Reno forces a readstone food action, which otherwise could have been a two point action. So yeah, maybe renovate, maybe renovating here was not the right move or going for Reno here was not the right move. Maybe I would have been better off just taking vegetable and then boar and then stone oven. Although ostrich engine just played pole barns hmm. on major minor. Yeah. Yeah, I would have had to do, do Stone Oven there, and then as soon as Ostrichenge builds the Pole Barns on Major Minor, then I'd be really in an even worse spot than I am. So I'm going to end up in like, I don't know, the mid 40s or something. This should have been like a 52, 53 point game easily with the bricklayer combo. I mean, my occupations were quite weak to be fair, but with Aramite feeding me in a food type game, yeah. I could have maybe gone for more rooms. Like, I could build, I, if I had built three more rooms. It would have cost me more wood and reed, but like, I don't know. Let's do my two actions right away. Three points from Scrounger. Um, so then I feed two food. Two food of clay for four, and then I'll eat a boar and a vegetable for ten. So I score whatever I have plus ten. Let's see what that is. Oh, brutal. <laughs> okay, I'm even worse. I'm in a much worse spot than I thought I actually was. This is a 38 point game. Well, that was atrocious. Oh, manger. I have a four-point manger, so... Okay, that's part of why I thought I had more than I did. So, 42. Yeah, atrocious by me. Um, yeah. Well, I have too many negatives. Vegetable, sheep, boar. This is, Yeoman Farmer would actually have been a hero in this game. Um, that's a late-game occupation I would have liked. Um, yeah. Yeah, just not, uh, not enough. Not enough. Having to beg kills my head of the revolution. And then I'm just missing a bunch of points that I should have. Like, I should have more clay. I shouldn't have all these negatives. Yeah, that's just a bad game by me. Bad, bad, poorly played. Very poorly played, I think. Never got my feeding actually proper. Wow, Midi Lol only scored 36. Oh, man. I have the score that I put in the middle of my farm. Midi Lol only scored 36. No early family growth, no win. I mean, yeah. I think I was hurt a little. Yeah, I thought Midi Lol shouldn't have grown because I thought he was really hungry. But pretty much a, a lot of what the game comes down to is I gambled. Marska does not have Lighthouse, and then Marska had Lighthouse. 
So, I mean, certainly passing and letting Midi Lol get bigger was not a problem because Midi Lol only scored 36 points. But, uh, only 36? That doesn't seem right. Wow, only 36 points. Jeez. This farm looks more complete than that, but I guess he's got a bunch of negatives himself. Yeah. Yeah, this game is like close to being really cool. Just didn't quite make it there. Animal Tamer ended up being totally dead. Being totally dead card. So yeah, if that's like Yeoman Farmer or something, something actually useful, or something that gets me food. Or Chief, imagine, if it was even something like that. Yeah. I mean, first pick Circus Manager, I was always going to be pretty sad. The power of my car, power level of my uh, occupations was extremely low. And anytime you want to play all seven occupations, this was a bad tutor game. So maybe I should not have taken Circus Manager. Maybe I should have taken... Um, 3, 3, 4, 5, 4, 2. What, else, what even else was in that game? So I first picked Circus Manager, which actually has a power of 4.6, which is way higher than I expected. And then I took Tutor, 3.7. And then it just drops off from there. Yeah, Tile Maker under 2, Eris at 2, Bricklayer, yeah, Bricklayer is fine. I guess, yeah, I guess my Occupation power was fine. You hope for... I guess they just didn't do a lot. Like, they got me points in food, but they didn't do much beyond that. Yeah, Animal Tamer. Although none of these cards would have been done anything for me. I took Quarry. I took Parforce Hunting. I took Manger. Yeah, the fact that Green Elevate came all the way around was surprising. Clay Supports. Yeah, how do I not take Clay Supports, right? Yeah, so maybe what I need to do is I need to ignore my Aramite. Maybe I overvalued taking cards that supported Aramite. So, like, instead of taking Par Force Hunting, I take... Although this pile was really weak. I already had Quarry, yeah. Maybe then I take Green Elevator. And then when I take Green Elevator, then I can take, um, I don't know, like Bakehouse or something. Oh, Rum Distillery came back. No, it didn't. Never mind. Yeah. I didn't set up my feeding engine is the other thing. I grew without being able to feed really well, uh, which is definitely a problem. Um, yeah, ultimately, I think the big, big factor is... Uh, pretty Well, pretty big factor. I gambled Murrah Scott didn't have Lighthouse, and then he did. So that was a big swing between the two of us. And then the other thing is um, I screwed up that round uh, round 11. I forgot about my feeding. Because I can still get Head of the Revolution two rounds later, or one round later. I can still get the Head of the Revolution bonus. But instead I went for it in a feeding round, in a harvest round. Like, ah, uh, oh well. That happens. It would have been nice if I could have been collecting Aramite all that time, too. So maybe if I was more patient on building my, the rest of my rooms. Because I built Clay Supports, and then built Eris, and then I did grow the two rounds immediately after that. But the one I didn't need... I didn't need the... Yeah. I didn't need the points from that card. Or I didn't need the Clay Supports until... Because I could have skipped out on the Eris build until one round later because I built a room anyways so I could have family growth into build room although occupying build room prevented midi lol from building again which I was a little worried about him doing yeah yeah and then there's maybe a cool line where I did quarry one um yeah and then got some more points from uh my stone house did an even bigger like an eight or nine room stone house Okay, yeah, I could have maybe done something like that. Anyways, uh, didn't work out. That happens. Um, 
I hope to get support for my tutor. And I, I mean, Bricklayer is good as from where I picked it, but the rest of the cards like are pretty bad. So that happens. Yeah, I could have maybe gone for a cooking hearth earlier. I think I'm okay with the pottery, but did I need to build the pottery then was the question. Like, I did convert in the immediately following harvest from building the pottery, so that probably was worth something. Anyways... That's going to be all for me. Thank you very much for watching, you guys. Uh, I'll stream um, tomorrow or Monday. Probably tomorrow. I'm on an Agricola kick right now. I'm wanting to play a lot. I've been going on this site a lot just to check out if games are starting or whatever. So, uh, yeah, would uh, be interested in probably playing tomorrow. Um, if not tomorrow, Monday for sure. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video, and we'll see you next time. Bye.